First of all, for lots of people, you have to work quite hard to find child poverty in London because in some respects it can be hidden. You can come in and commute in and not see the poorest parts of London, yet they are all around us. The Mayor's Fund for London is an independent charity. Our focus is child poverty in London. And what we do in our small central team is we raise money. We don't have, we don't have any money to start with. We raise the money. We develop the projects and the programmes in partnership with communities and then we contract out the delivery and we monitor and evaluate. I think the Mayor's Fund for London will make a big difference to children in London. It first of all tries to connect up all the charities and organisations that are trying to help children. It is a new approach to child poverty. We've raised £9 million in funding commitments since we launched in April 2009. 7 million of that from the private sector. We have elected to host um, an evening, a, a gala preview of our art collection at Art London and we've flagged up 21 paintings of artists that we represent to give 10% of whatever selves to the Mayor's Fund for London. I think it is hard in current times to go out and just sort of shake the can and ask people to, to contribute that way. And for Tanya it's about using her art and her connections to help the Mayor's Fund. With the um, proceeds from lots of my paintings that go all over the place, so being a, living in London for 25 years, it's, it's lovely to see some of it staying here. <laughs> I think many corporations in the private sector recognise without doubt a responsibility and, and they make huge contributions towards uh, poverty, towards alleviating poverty in the capital. There are some, again, who don't and they should be persuaded to assist. As the publisher of Square Mile magazine, then I have a very good opportunity to be able to uh, get the voice of the Mayor's Fund over to bankers, brokers, traders. It's a very easy sell to the companies to you explain to them who it's for and where it's going and that in fact if they just look around them within the square mile um, straight outside the banking community you're into Shoreditch this money goes straight into that community there so it's right on their doorstep. The poorest parts of London have had things done to them for hundreds of years and that's one of the reasons why solutions don't stick. One of the first things we did was to engage London citizens to open up the channels and help develop channels where the local people in the communities that we're working with themselves can determine the priorities. London Citizens is a community organising organisation. Its aim is to uh, build relationships and alliances between diverse communities across London. The historical area of Shoreditch has a 75% child poverty rate. So parents are struggling to make ends meet. So I'm a church leader, one of the communities that makes up Shoreditch citizens. We are churches, schools, mosques, trade unions, community groups. Every member community, every member institution and organisation is made up of volunteers. And together these people gather, identify what the needs are and then work on problem solving and they themselves, we ourselves, are doing it for us. We're giving businesses opportunities to connect with the real people who are in their neighbourhood as well. And we do need that relationship with private sector because we need the resources to make this happen. It's as simple as that. In difficult times, poorer people get hit worse than richer people. But what are we to do? We can't say, well, we'll have a couple of years off and come back when it's all sorted out. We just have to get on with it. I think the model that we uh, apply in the Mayor's Fund for London will help in the future against the backdrop of government and local government uh, cuts of funding. I don't think it can completely replace it. It's very important for all three sectors, public, private, voluntary, to work together because cooperation brings the best results. And I think the UK is quite unique in terms of how many charities there are, how engaged people are and uh, actually how much has been dedicated to the uh, charity sector and the third sector. And I think the charity sector, voluntary sector in the UK should take great pride from that and look forward to the future with great confidence.